All right, boys, I want to see if chat GPT can make Geometry Dash for me without me having to write a single line of code or make any of the assets for the game myself. It's all going to be AI generated. So let's get started. The first thing I did was ask chat GPT for directions on how to make the game. And here's what it came up with. This is actually kind of good. All right, bet. So basically, we're just going to start off by making all the art and then we'll move on to actually, you know, like writing the code and stuff. So I got a picture of all of the assets I would need for the game. And my plan was to plug these into a website called Leonardo.ai. And that will give us an AI generated version of the image. So let's get started. First on the list to make is the square player so we need to crop out the player so we can just have the player alone so now we'll plug him into the ai we'll just drag him on it look at that there we go so this is the prompt i have just a bunch of random stuff just to make it look cool see what'll happen generate yeah so the first two results i got were pretty bad so i added more keywords to the prompt and tweaked some of the settings come on come on Ooh, there there we go there, that's what i'm saying bro there we go maybe i'll try one more Nick, all right that's ass. yeah we'll, ju we'll just go with one of these i'm gonna go with I'll go with this one, because that's kind of sick. Okay, now that we have the player, it's time to move on to the rocket. So I cropped out the rocket from the image and imported it into Leonardo.ai and added some new keywords to the prompt. We'll do like high tech rocket ship. Okay, let's see it. Ooh, it's all right. I mean, after this, I gave it two more tries and then I decided which one I wanted to use for the game. I don't like this one. No, no, no. I like this one the most. It just like looks the most detailed. It's got like lighting and shading and stuff. It looks pretty nice, you know? Next up is the spike. All right, drag on in the spike. We got to get rid of rocket ship. We got to replace that with spike. Let's generate. Wow, what the hell is that? Why does it look so weird? What is that? Got to go for a new one. Ooh, ooh, that's clean. That's actually clean. What the fuck? Yo, that's clean. All right, the assets are looking kind of tough. Low key, no cap, no kiz on my glaze. Now it's time for the square tile. All righty, let's generate. See what we get. Oh, nah. What the heck? Try again. Hold up, bro. I need to change. I need to change up my keywords, bro. I don't know what it's doing. Last one. Okay. There we go. That's not bad. You know, I'll take this one. I'll take this one. So I used the same image generating technique to get the portal, the backdrop, and the floor. And then it was time to start working on the game. First order of business. We need to make the floor in the background. After I made the scene, I tried to make a parallax effect with the background by using ChatGPT, and it just didn't work at all. Literally nothing happened. So I had to come up with a new approach. And the new approach was basically just making the player move forward and then having the camera follow him. Wow. So I had ChatGPT write me a camera follow script, and then I pasted it into the game. I followed this by adding the player and then snatching a movement script from ChatGPT. Yeah, we're giving it the first shot. This should work. Um, um, okay, dude. Like, really, bro? Really? So I tried to fix this by freezing the floor on all of the axes, and I asked ChatGPT to redo the movement script so that it constantly moves the player forward, and it actually kind of works now. Muy perfecto, bien. So the problem is right now is that when I jump, I can only jump once, like I'm spamming the spacebar. It doesn't let me jump again after I jumped that first time. Oh, the floor didn't have the ground tag. Oh, that's my bad. It should work now. That's my fault, bro. There we go. There we go. Okay, we can jump now. So the next thing I did was make the level a little bit bigger. So I wouldn't just fall off the edge right away. And I try to make the camera follow a little bit smoother. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay, so the next thing it wanted me to do was make it so the player like respawns when he hits the spike. So let's do that. So now we can just place spikes right in the scene, I think. It's a little too big, but... Boom, boom. Uh, we need to mess with the scaling a little bit. Try 10. Woo! Damn. It's the biggest f thousand. That's actually almost perfect. 465. Perfect. Watch. Ooh! All right, so now I got spikes. Let's go. The next thing I did was give the spike a box collider for collisions. We need some actual logic for this spike. So let's ask good old chat GPT. All right, let's see it. So this is the script it gave me. I mean, this will work, but I need to switch the spike to a trigger collider. But handle player death isn't a method that actually works or like does anything yet. So let's get ChatGPT to fix it for us. And then we'll paste that in. Got the new script for the spike. Then I asked ChatGPT to finish the game manager script and did all the necessary stuff in the hierarchy. And then I gave it a test. We should die and respawn. All right, let's go. Now I need to make the player flip 180 degrees when jumping. So I kindly asked ChatGPT to do that for me. And you know, I started spitting out that juicy code. Then I pasted it on it. And here is what happened. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Why does it do that? Yeah, so I believe Mr. GPT misinterpreted my prompt. It just thought I wanted the player to invert on the X axis every time it jumped, I guess. I don't really know. So of course I gave it a new prompt in hopes that it would fix it. I kind of like, that's kind of sick. It like does a little launch forward. It does a flip and then it jumps. Oh snap, what the heck? Oh shit. 
Eventually, I figured out what I was doing wrong. It has to do with controlling the player with physics and rotating it at the same time. But after giving it this prompt, everything was fixed. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It kind of works. Only problem is it doesn't rotate quick enough and it rotates backwards. But of course, chat GPT was there to clutch up. Ew, that is clean. Let's go. Implement square tiles. Okay. The thing is like in Geometry Dash, when you run into a square, you die. But if you land on top, you obviously you live. Unfortunately, I didn't really know how to do this. But lucky for me, ChatGPT does know how to do it. Boom, we die when we hit it. We can jump on it. Beautiful. Following this, I started working on the level and it was pretty fun testing certain parts. It's possible. <laughs> we got a decent level going on and now I think it's time for the rocket. But in order for the rocket to work, we need a portal. So I added the portal and then I thought of a plan on how I would achieve the rocket effect when entering the portal. So we switched the sprite to this and then give it a completely new movement script. Okay, so I took a really bad approach to implementing this rocket mechanic. I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but it took me a lot of prompts and adjusting all the scripts in order to make it work. And it took way longer than it had to, but you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. It's a bit of a problem with the rotation, but we can fix that. After some trial and error with ChatGPT, I got it working. There you go. Perfect. All right, now we need to actually finish the level though. So after I finished making the level, I was super excited when I remembered that I needed to add sounds to the game. Oh, wait, no, I need to add sounds. Right, I'm on this website called Melobytes where you can do an AI image to song. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll take an image of the game. This is a good screenshot of the game, I think. So we'll go to snipping tool for a quick little snip snip, you know what I'm saying? And there we go, that'll be our screenshot. All right, create a song, maybe. Oh shoot, what, what is the lyrics type? All right, bro, whatever, let's do it. Oh, nah, okay, here we go. Ah! My ears. Bro, what am I hearing? <laughs> what is this? Perfect, perfect. Ah! Oh, it's so f***ing loud, bro. Now that we have that background music, I moved on to the sound effects, and the only sound effect we need is the death sound effect. So I went on this website where you can like combine two sounds together, and here's what I came up with. And of course, ChatGPT helped me put the sound effects in the game. I'm not gonna show all of it because it's kind of boring. And here's how it turned out. Oh, no, no, no. Last thing I'm gonna do is add like a game over thing. And if you hit it, then you win. Yes, sir. That was the last thing I had to ask ChatGPT. Then I pasted the code into the script and made the game over message and everything was complete. Let's go, and it's clapping, let's go, we won! Oh my god, guys! Thanks for watching till the end, I really appreciate that. And I would also appreciate if you would subscribe, because only 0.9% of you guys are subscribed. I mean, come on, dude, not cool, dude, not cool. So yeah, uh, you can play the game on itch.io. I'm not sure why you would want to play it. That's all for me today, boys. Peace out.